and welcome to part three of this Pilates micro session using the resistance band or your pair of tights. We're going to come into a sitting position again and this time we're going to sit lengthways along your mat. So uh, remember that you can use yoga blocks if that's more suitable to help you to sit upright. Otherwise just sit onto the mat and let's bring the legs out in front of us and have our feet flexed and we're going to take the band behind the feet. <coughs> now, we want to start off preferably with straight legs, but for most of us it's really difficult to have straight legs and a straight back. And I'm always going on about having a straight back being your priority. So if you need to, just softly bend the knees and that should help you to sit up more straight through the rest of your spine. Then we're going to take hold of the band in each of your hands. And you can adjust the tension in the band. The higher up you hold the band, as in the closer to your knees, the more slack you have in the band, the easier the exercise will be. The lower down you hold the band, the more challenging the exercise will be. So I'll let you choose whereabouts you wish to hold the band. And then maintaining that length into the body, we're going to start off with a little elbow pull back exercise. So as you breathe out, you're going to bend your elbows, brush them against your waist and pull them back behind you. And then breathe in to release. We breathe out to pull back, breathe in to release. And we're just working at your own pace with your breath, trying to maintain the best sitting posture you can. So just be aware that you don't lean back as you pull back. And maybe as you do a few more sets, you don't start to collapse and round into your lower back. So let's do four more of these. Breathing out as you pull back, breathing in. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep sending your chest towards your knees, your hips towards your thighs, using the tummy to help you maintain good alignment. Last one to finish. Good, have a little rest with the band, the legs, or the spine, as and when you need to. We're going to come now into a one-armed bit of work, so just one side of the body. Initially, we'll alternate each time. So what I want you to do is to cross the band over in front of your feet. So you now have a little X um, where the feet, where the ankles are. Um, make sure you have room to your side. I'm just going to shuffle over a little bit so I've got space to my right. And again, find your good sitting posture, either the legs straight or the legs slightly bent. And this time, you're going to start just with your right arm. You're going to bend your elbow and pull the band back with that right arm. And then come back to the center. Bend your left arm, pull the elbow back, and then release in front again. Now this time, what you'll notice is that the elbow goes wide out to the side rather than down and back. Try to keep your shoulders facing the front, keep your hips facing the front. We're going to do, after this one, one more set. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in. So it is hard work to maintain that sitting posture as we do this. What we want to do now is add in rotation to the movement. So, same arm position, same band position. This time, as you bend your right elbow, you're going to rotate your head, neck, shoulders, and spine to the right. And then release to the center. Bend your left elbow, rotate head, neck, shoulders, and spine, and come back to the center. Again, watch you don't start to lean back or to round your lower back, so sit up as tall as you possibly can. Breathing out to rotate, breathing in to come back. Breathe out to rotate, breathe in to come back. Remember the head will follow the spine. We'll do one more to each side. Last one to the left, evening up through the body. And then relax the legs, relax the arms, stretch the spine forward should you need to. 
or you can keep your knees together, give your legs a little hug to release tension. Good, let's now come into some rollbacks. And we're going to use the band again, but this time, just have the band parallel behind the feet, so you don't want to cross it over anymore. And again, we're going to hold the band fairly low down, uh, either knee height or ankle height or halfway between the two, and sit up really tall again. So with our rollbacks, we start with a C curve. You make your back as straight as you can to start, so use those deep postural muscles to lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. We're going to then let the pelvis roll slightly backwards, but the upper body softens slightly forwards. I'm now looking to my thighs, and I'm drawing my tummy into the spine. Then I'm going to roll backwards, letting my hips come away from my legs. Take a breath in there, breathe out, come forwards, bringing your shoulders back over the hips, and then roll the pelvis forwards and lift back out. So it's a breath in for the C curve, a breath out to roll back. Breathe in there, then breathe out, roll forwards, bringing the shoulders over your hips, but you'll notice my hips are still open. Then I close my hips and lift back up. So let's do one more set. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathe in there, breathe out to come back and to lift yourself back to your good sitting. So let's add a little bit more of a challenge now and add in some arm circles to the exercise. So the same, everything is the same to start, but we just work a little harder by maintaining that position of the spine once we're back. Then we're going to move the arms in the shoulders. So we come into the C curve and roll back. Once you're back, you're going to stay there, and you draw three little circles in one direction, and then three circles in the other direction. Then bring your shoulders forwards over your hips, roll yourself back to sit up really tall. So we're going to do a few more of those, breathing in for the C curve, breathing out to roll back. Now just let the breath come and go naturally as you circle three times in one direction and three in the other. Keep your arms still, breathe out, roll forwards and lift yourself back to your good sitting. We'll do one more set to finish. Breathing in, breathing out. Circling the arms and the shoulders, keeping everything else as still, as strong as you can. Still the arms, roll the spine forwards and lift yourself out. I always like to finish the little counter stretch, so rather than going backwards, I'm going to go forwards now. So I'll bring my feet together into long frog position, rest my hands on my shins, nod my chin to my chest, draw my tummy in, and bone by bone I'm going to go forwards with the spine. I'm not going down to the floor, but forwards to the wall in front of you, lengthening through the back. Breathe in there and breathe out as you come back up. Sitting tall, take another breath in. Breathe out going forwards. Breath in at the bottom and breathing out to come back up again. Brilliant, well done. Let's come now onto our tummies. So just transitioning on your mats. Uh, what you may want is a head cushion to rest your head on. Uh, we're going to use the band again to help us to uh, strengthen and work those upper back muscles a little bit more if you want to do that. Um, the band or the tights are optional, so only use them if you wish to. They're going to come behind your back. And bring the band right up across your upper back. Again, remember the wider the band, um, the more feedback you'll feel as it stretches across your back. So let's come down onto the mat. Your hands will rest next to your face. Your legs are a little wider than your hips, and they're just turned out at the hips. So heels dropping in, toes pointing away. Forehead rests onto the mat or just onto your head cushion. And 
and your hands are resting on the floor but holding the band into place. You want to feel already a little bit of tensioning in the band across your upper back. So we start with cobra prep. Draw the tummy to your spine, take your breath in. Breathe out, slide the nose forward, lift the back of the head. The chest goes forwards and upwards, feeling that work into the band. Breathing in there and breathing out as you come back down to rest. So it's a breath in at the bottom. Breathe out, sliding the nose, lifting the head, peeling the front of the body away from the mat, sliding the shoulders down the back, breath in there, and breathe out to release. So if you do maybe three more of those, just gently working through the upper back, keeping the tummy really active as you move, so that way we support the lower back, we keep that sense of length and space across the lower part of the body. Remember, if you can't feel the band across your body or tensioning as you rise up, you might need to adjust the tension in the band. This next one will be your last one before we add a little progression should you want to. So now if you are using a band, uh, obviously this will become a little bit more challenging as we come into the full cobra position. So if you want to leave the band out for this version, please feel free to do that. What I like to do with cobra, full cobra is to slide my hands a little further forward along the mat, just to give my um, shoulders a little bit more space to move. And then we start off in the same way. So we connect the tummy to the spine, slide the nose forward, lift the back of the head, peel the chest off the mat. Now the arms activate. You push your hands into the floor, start to straighten the elbows as you peel your tummy and maybe the tops of your hips off the mat, stretching the band as you rise up. You're looking slightly more forward this time rather than down to the floor. Take a breath in and breathe out. Come down through the front of the hips the tummy, the chest, the neck, and eventually the head. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out, start to come up just through the top of the spine, arms are relaxed. Breathe in, continue to rise up through the spine. And then gently come down again, sequentially releasing the spine back into the mat, bone by bone by bone. We'll do three more sets. Remember to keep the tummy drawing to the spine. Use the arms as you come into full cobra. Good, really, really good. Just one last one to finish. Feel that lovely length all the way down the front of the body, but feel that work into the back of the body. And come down for your last time. Once you're down into this position, you can release the band from behind your back. Either push yourself back into rest position, your bottom coming back towards your heels, your arms stretching out in front. If any of you would prefer, please feel free to lie on your back and hug your knees to your chest. With this rest position, uh, well, whichever rest position you choose, let the breath help you to release tension in the body. If you're in child's pose or rest position, keep your knees quite wide, feet together. The arms could stretch out in front of you, which is a really nice stretch for the shoulders. Head rests onto the mat, or if your head doesn't reach the floor, pop a cushion or a block under the head to help bring it into the mat. So you can let, let the le neck relax. Some people prefer to bring their arms back behind them and to drop the shoulders. This is really nice to fully release through those shoulder muscles and upper back muscles that we were working. And then when you're ready, let's gently roll yourself back up, drawing the 
we're coming in, rebuilding through the spine. Those of you on your backs, you could roll onto your side, push yourself up into sitting position or um, kneeling. And we are finished your third part of this mat work session with the band. Really, really good work. Well done. I look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Take care for now. Bye.